Hello, welcome to the Stockyard Industrial Lead. I'm Eric Miller, and today we're going to be talking about passenger operations on a small switching layout. Did you know that even though you just might have a small industrial spur, you can still add passenger operations to your layout? Sure you can, and I'm going to show you three ways, including one that I use on my layout. So we're going to cover officer car specials or business car trains. Uh, we're going to talk about traction power, and we're also going to talk about uh, transit and inner city rail. So join with me and I'll show you these three options. So one of the more obvious options that I think for any layout is the officer car special, also known as a business car or a business train. Um, basically any layout you have, you want to be able to show your customers or potential customers the railroad and how it runs. And so I think even on, an, on a short industrial spur, people uh, want to be able to see this and show it off. So here today we've got at the uh, South Omaha Yard office, also known as the Albright Depot, we've got an SPSF business car that is going to be pulled here by the South Omaha Terminal GP9. Um, as some of you may know, the South Omaha Terminal is jointly owned by Railcar America and the SPSF Railway. So today the SPSF top brass want to come check out this spur and see how the track is and see how the customers are and and just know what their investment is like. Uh, this is kind of an annual trip that they like to do. Now there's other things that you can do related to this. You can also do, um, for example, some like a historic uh, passenger rail operation that could, you know, maybe run on weekends when you don't have any switching service going on. Um, and you could also run, you know, slightly longer trains than this. You could maybe um, instead of just having officers from the railroad, you could have customers along. You might want to have a dining car or a lounge car option, something like that. So there's a lot of different takes, uh, some nice excuses for you to go out and buy some passenger equipment. And that can still be run by the same locomotives that you use for switching the railroad. So this is just one example. And uh, towards the end of this video, we're going to run our um, officer car special on the spur and check it out. But right now, it uh, looks like we're still loading up the top brass, so let me show you a couple other ideas uh, for running passenger operations on a small switching layout. So another example that I mentioned is traction power. And if, if you think about a small switching layout, a lot of times you think about um, urban industrial scenes and so that leads to transit operations. And I think it's easy to integrate some kind of transit into your layout if you're serving a city, especially a city with rail operations. It's kind of cool to have some kind of a, you know, rail transit uh, serving some of the passengers in the urban area. And so one of the things that I'm working on, this is still very much a work in progress. It's, it's uh, nowhere near completion, um, is having a, a little light rail line. And what I want to do is just basically have something that goes over kind of my yard area here in South Omaha. And so what I have here is a light rail model that was um, introduced by Imperial Hobby Productions many, many years ago, oh, probably 10 or 15 years ago. I've had this for at least a decade. And I painted this up in a um, freelance scheme for this. This is supposed to look like the metro area transit in Omaha as it was, uh, as, as kind of their buses look like in the 90s. This is a Siemens SD160 model. And so I just painted it up in a scheme that I thought looked kind of cool. Um, I actually had this up and running on my layout a few years ago, back when it was slightly larger. I actually had a light rail extension that would be switched at night when the trains weren't running, um, like some cities do, like Salt Lake City and San Diego used to, for example. Um, but anyways, so this is something that I, I still want to integrate into the current layout. Now there's also streetcar options like Bachman makes some streetcars. And so it's definitely possible to actually have these running on your layout. But uh, like this one, I'm just going to have staged and I've, I've saved some catenary poles. And so I can string up some wire um, somehow along here um, when I get this up and running. Um, but that's another another option. And, and so like I said, you don't necessarily have to have these running on your layout. They can just kind of be staged or in the background, um, but you can also have them running as well. So that's kind of a cool way to, to bring the passenger scene onto your urban industrial spur. And so the third option that I want to talk about today, but I don't have an example to show you because I don't have it on my layout, but I actually used to model it uh, when the layout was larger is an inner city rail or, or transit option. Um, I think it's kind of a cool idea to integrate some some kind of a 
you know, larger regular passenger rail operation like Amtrak or a commuter rail operation, again, thinking in the, in this, in the lines of, you know, you're kind of in a, maybe a bigger city area with your industrial spur or um, small switching layout. And so it's only natural to have some passenger service. Now you might be thinking, well, you know, this is just a kind of rickety old industrial spur or whatever. Well, it could be a little bit more than that. And if you think about a small switching layout that might just have one local a day, uh, that's actually perfect for some passenger operations because you've got plenty of, of a window for the passenger train to run. Um, also the, the short line or regional operation, or even if you have a class one local, um, if you're just running, you know, basically one train a day, it can be very flexible. And so you could do like a, if, if you have, for example, a commuter rail transit, you could run, you know, like a morning peak operation, then the local could come out after that during the midday. And then even if, if it doesn't get all its work done, it can kind of hide in a, in a siding or somewhere while the afternoon rush hour service comes back out and then finish up in the evening. Uh, so you've got a lot more flexibility than if you're modeling a main line to have some uh, some operation like that. And, you know, all it takes is, is a scene kind of like this, you know, where you've got a simple depot and a platform and you can just uh, run some, some pretty simple passenger service. So back when I was doing this on my line, um, I had an Amtrak intercity train that would run from Omaha to St. Louis, which was something that was talked about in the late 80s. And so I decided oh, I'm just going to implement it on my layout. Uh, which I think is kind of cool to take something that's talked about or discussed but never happens but actually model it and you can say hey this is how it works and so at that time I was running just you know one locomotive and I think I had like two coaches and then a business car slash um, club car type of a deal so it's just three cars and uh, yeah very simple operation and basically what it what I had is to offer was like a suburban stop after it it left Omaha it would come through Bellevue and make a stop there and then continue on to Kansas City and then I would have another train northbound uh, come through later in the day. So that, that was kind of a fun, um, interesting thing. And, and it, it was also a way to connect the uh, service that, that would be in Omaha with the California Zephyr. So there's, there's lots of options that you have for that kind of inner city rail or, or um, you know, commuter rail transit also. Again, just a locomotive and, you know, maybe two or three coaches is all it takes. So pretty small investment. And again, like I said, I think some of these industrial spurs could be perfect for that kind of operation you just have to make sure that um, your train can get off the industrial spur and keep going on to the main line somewhere um, or if it's a, a transit operation then the, the industrial spur might be just perfect for it because you know you can just have it terminate somewhere maybe give it its own uh, spur at the end of the line um, a place where it can stage overnight and then start service the next morning so a um, lot, lot of options there so those are the three ideas that i have for passenger rail um, I think this can definitely be considered um, for any small switching layout and, and shouldn't be overlooked at all. Um, and, it, and it kind of, you know, keeps the interest. You know, I think small switching layouts are really good because you can really pay attention to the freight operation, which I like. You don't have to get into some of the other the other things like super long trains, which, which uh, require a lot of investment. Um, but doing something like this still kind of increases the variety and, and adds uh, some more interest. So with that, we're going to go ahead and, and run our business car special here. I think we're, we're ready to go. It looks like the brass is boarded and uh, we've got our engineering conductor on board. So we're going to go ahead and take this uh, SPSF car around the layout. And today we've got the SPSF business car Santa Fe with us, uh, which is also their number 50. Uh, this is actually based on a real prototype that the Santa Fe has in their fleet, and I believe is still with the BNSF today. Uh, it's a Caddo model, so for anybody that's that's interested. One of the things I find really cool about doing something like this with the office officer car special is just having a you know a short little passenger train like this blow through an industrial scene. It just looks pretty cool.
So we've got our officer car special here at the end of the line by the ready mix concrete plant. And so uh, we're ready to head back with the SPSF top brass. Um, now in hindsight, it might've worked out better to have the business car flipped around, but um, you know, there's, there's no um, turntable or Y out here. So uh, we're kind of stuck with how, how it gets sent to us from Kansas City or Chicago or wherever it's coming from. So um, this'll work the you know executives can still come out of the the door there and see how things are going and and check out the track um you know they might meet with a couple of customers while they're out here too maybe bring them on so um all in all i think we're having a pretty good day so far so we'll go ahead and head back to the albright depot now and that'll be the end of our run
Okay, so now we're back at the South Omaha Yard office or the Albright Depot, and we can uh, let the top brass do whatever they've got going on next. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple operation. It's kind of fun to run too, you know, it's something different. Um, you're not going in all the spurs and switching and stuff. It's just kind of a fun little ride. So um, I think it's it's pretty cool to add. You can even throw this in during an off session if you've got, you know, an extra locomotive or so, and um, you can kind of say uh, run it yourself while maybe the other crew is is doing what they're normally doing and and try to have them get out of the way while this comes through um, a lot of flexibility so anyways i hope i gave you some ideas about passenger operations on small switching layouts uh, thanks for watching thanks for joining me and as always feel free to comment if you have any questions and if you've got anything that you want to see in the future thanks again for joining me and i'll see you next week